Talk about yourself for a second. Hi, it's the head honcho Jesse. Yeah. Best Show. on the team, goat's gonna go. Uh. Luru doesn't know what sport he's playing. Sometimes he thinks he's a gymnastic. Probably should be on the bench most of the game, to be honest, when he does that. Pretty sure he's from Guatemala. I don't know why he does that British accent. Not really sure where he's from. Um, he sort of just appeared on our team. Luru is kind of annoying because he always likes to do a British accent. It pisses me off because, you know, I myself as an enthusiast of accents, but it just it just pisses me off that he thinks he can he can pull it off. You know. So Andrew, we tried to order from Africa. We were going for a Hakeem Olajuwon kind of guy, and then eBay screwed us over for the third time in my life. So we're all kind of disappointed with that outcome. <laughs> ben, I've been on his team many years. We've coached together. He's the brains of the operation, the smartest one, smarter than Connor. But the thing about Ben, he's the worst shooter on the team. And it's facts. Ben's the worst shooter on the team. It's been known since ninth grade. Just wanted to let everyone know that. Uh, he's he's definitely a hard worker. Um, with those witty jokes, he's a very smart dude. Uh, he works really hard. Uh, is he good? He tries. He, he tries very hard to be. Um, he tries. Ben's one of the smartest kids I know. He can do like four plus four in like ten seconds. He can do all the times tables that I've ever heard of. And he can count with numbers. Sam, I hate that bitch. No one likes him. He's like, basically, if you took a literal, someone's literal, like inside of their anus, that's Sam. Like it's like God just pulled something out of his ass, and Sam's right there. He holds up the bench real nice. It's always nice, like getting a break and sitting on a nice warm seat. It's my favorite part. He throws rocks at me sometimes. I don't like that. Uh, actually, sometimes I do. And Sam is just a straight up asshole. I don't really know. Come back to Jesse. Uh, okay. Let me get on this Cameron grind. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I can tell. You just want to go for Cameron. Go, go, talk about Cameron. Alright, so I've known Cameron since like second grade probably. When, so he threw the ball at me and he missed me. Right, Todd? He missed me. But then I threw it at him and I hit him, but he claims he hit me and he's like, Oh, Ben, you're out, you're out, Ben. Blah, 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 blah. I'm Cameron, you're out, Ben. Blah. And this is like fourth grade and I, I said something mean to him, like called him a mean name. And then he ran away crying, and then I had to go into the principal's office. So fuck you, Cameron. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. Cameron's just good to have around because you always have a food source. He just carries food around with him everywhere he goes. Um, oh, one second, one second. <laughs> so, I mean, like, you get real lucky. Like, you make a three and he gives you, like, a congratulations burrito. It's real nice. Cameron's my favorite. I don't know how Cameron got on this team. I really don't, but the only good thing about him is not only can he warm one bench at the one seat on the bench at a time, he warms two seats on the benches at the same time. That's why he's on the team. Mitchell's probably the most unintelligent person on the team. Um, I don't think he's played basketball for a day in his life, but we're trying to get him to be good. It's, it's a struggle though, no doubt. Let me tell you about Mitchell. Mitchell is a grade A hypist. He's wearing fake shoes right now. Fake KD4. Hype Beast 101. This is all you need to know about Mitchell is he's a hype beast. Is that a Jesse? Well, I think he's kind of a pompous, a little bit, a little bit self-centered. But you know, he, when you when you get to know him, he's actually pretty cool. Sometimes, not really that much. When I first met him, I thought he was kind of a dick, though, because it seemed like he just kind of like he thought of thought of himself like higher than everybody else because he had a YouTube. See, that's the shit I'm fucking talking about. 
just of the day to him, alright? Um, well, he's, he's a good friend of mine. Uh, if I do talk good about him, he I will get subs, right? Yeah? Alright, sick. Yeah, he's a great guy. Great guy. Uh, Jesse thinks he's the GOAT, but he's not. He's kind of... He's kind of like that guy who tries to do a whole bunch of uh, dribble moves but can't actually finish it and then calls fouls and yells at the ref. And that's pretty much all to say. He wears that Gambino hat a lot, which is kind of silly, but you know, he does him. Hmm. Good guy, good guy. Makes a lot of buckets. I can dig that. basketball in the UK. They're just not as good as us.
thought he was from Africa. How do you think you did that game? Uh, I think, you know, well, at least I scored, you know, because I don't score often. Why I didn't do good is because I didn't have my little mid game snack. I usually keep it right here, but I forgot my granola bar, so. How'd the game go, Mitchell? I thought we played really good. I forgot to uh, put my shoes on my feet for the first half, and then I started scoring the second half. You know, goats are gonna go, and that's what I did today. I carried the team, had about three dunks. You, you weren't recording them, though. It just, error, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jordanian. Pretty much we're the best around. All right, here's the deal. One by 20, everyone played really well, even Cameron. Even Cameron, gotta say. Uh, after the game though, this guy came up to Cameron and he was like, yo, the other team thinks you rubbed it in too hard, you gotta go and apologize. And Cameron told us this and we're like, apologize? Like we were pressing them, it was good, we were having fun, but you know, if you wanted to apologize, put us against better teams. That team was trash. We should have beat them 100 to zero. Like, who apologizes? It's basketball. You win some, you lose some. Man up. Grow a pair of testicles, other team. That's all I gotta say, Todd. That's a wrap. Who did the worst? Hmm. That's a hard one. Who did the worst? Sam did the worst. Sam, Sam will tell you he did the best, but he definitely did the worst. It's just, something's wrong with him. I thought we did well. The one thing though, Sam got the ball a little bit too much. Sam was kind of Sam was kind of hogging the ball. Like we need to work on getting the ball out of Sam's hands sometime. You need to work on passing it. But other than that, we did good. Yeah. Sam? <laughs> I think you're getting ready to get your ass kicked, boy. <laughs> but honestly, dude, Sam got the ball way too much. What is he doing? Uh, I thought the game went okay. I mean, I didn't get the ball as much as I needed to do to get a twice the other team score, but. Other than that, it was okay. Besides, the, you know, the rest of my team not really carrying themselves. I kind of had to do a lot. My back's hurting, you know. But other than that, I think uh, it went all right. I had some pretty killer plays. Not gonna lie. But yeah, it's pretty much all I gotta say about that. One thing I think we did really bad was give Slim Shady the ball a lot. The only thing he can do is rap. I've never seen him play basketball before. I almost threw up when he tested a lot. He was rap. 